and welcome to an intro guide to a Total War Saga Troy. Uh, now we're going to teach you how to, how to move your forces on the map. So not on the battlefield, but on the bigger map. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it um, can, can confuse some people. So for starters, you have to find one of your armies. You can hover over any of these icons to see if it's yours. Right now I'm playing with Agamemnon. Um, so I hover here. It says your army. So I left click it. He talks to me. Um, I can see all the the individual units within this larger army. Here I am on the map. Um, and you can see this little circle here. That's my zone of control. Um, won't get into that too much, but basically if you enter the zone of control of an enemy, um, you'll start fighting unless the enemy retreats, and vice versa if they enter your zone of control, um, essentially you're in a battle, um, nothing happens with the neutral zone of control. But so now that we have the, the unit selected, you can see the map change a little bit, let's unselect and reselect, and you can see this yellow ring here, that's how far I can move Agamemnon and the rest of the units. Um, so let's select them all. We can move to here, we can move to here, we can move to here. Essentially, the distance is in a, a straight circle because the, the terrain adjusts how far you can go. So this is a mountain, we can't cross the mountain. It blocks all of the, the traversing over here. Uh, if we had to go through a forest, it'll be a little bit slower. Uh, planes quicker. You can see that's pretty much a sh much a straight shot. Um, you know, hills will be slower than planes. If you have roads between cities, it'll speed it up even further. Um, so let's click to here, somewhere within the zone, um, and you can see our unit move. All right, so let's look here again. We're on to turn to this movement. So. A zone of control again. Uh, we're surrounded by grasslands. We've got a much bigger area we can travel to. Um, again, you move your pointer anywhere within this yellow zone. Click, right click uh, with your mouse, and you move to within that. On my way. Some fog of war. <clears throat> no evaporates, or at least moves. So now you can see. Are there new units uh, or anything else? Um, and what happens if you click outside? So you want to click here. It's outside of our now smaller yellow ring. You can see the yellow line turns red. This becomes movement that happens next turn. So if we end our turn here, uh, in the next turn, our unit would move into this space. Um, they'd obviously have a little bit more they could do. So we would if we allow the natural progression of the turn, we'd still have, you know, some movement left for this unit. Uh, a couple last things. The unit can move on land anywhere. You know, mountains are the, the exception there. You can also move with land units overseas. Um, you can't necessarily where there are cliffs like this. But anywhere where there's a beach or a, a port, you can move. It does take more time than land movement, at least to get your units embarked, um, but it is possible. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, we answered some pretty basic stuff around uh, army movement um, in Total War Troy. If this helped you. Give us a subscribe, like the video. That's what helps us. Thanks so much.